The next thing we need to do is use crayons to start um, adding some more details and start coloring in some of our work. So the first thing we're going to do is color our flags with our crayons. And when we're coloring with the crayons, we're going to press kind of hard because we want um, them to show up even after we paint our designs. So I'm going to start with the color for this flag. It's a calm day, so it's okay to go in the water and it's safe. So what color will we use? Exactly, we're going to use a green crayon. So I'm going to start by coloring in that flag with my green crayon. And what about this one? It's a nice calm day, just a light breeze. Just a light breeze. Yeah, we're going to use green for that one too. Again, I'm pressing kind of hard, taking my time coloring inside those lines. All right, for this one, it's strong winds. It's starting to get a little wavy out there. What color do you think they're going to put up? What color flag are they going to put up for that one? That's right, we're going to make that one a yellow flag because it's starting to say warning. You need to be extra careful. It's getting kind of wavy. Those winds are making some big waves. It's not not quite safe to go in the water, so be careful. And for this last one, gale force winds, super, super strong winds. Look at those huge waves. What color is that flag going to be? Exactly. It is going to be red. So we're going to color in that flag red. So we have our three flags colored in. Beautiful. The next thing we're going to do is use our brown crayon and color in the flagpoles. A nice wooden flagpole. Color in each one. And while I have my brown crayon, I am also going to trace that line where the sand ends. So I've got this line from the sand. I'm going to draw right over it, just trace on top of it, and I'm going to be nice and careful. Carefully trace over that. And I'm going to trace my sand castle. I'm not going to color it in, I'm just going to trace the outline of it. Because we're going to paint them, so we don't need to trace, or we don't need to color them, we're just going to trace over them. Make sure you press kind of hard with the crayons, because you want them to show up even after even after you're done painting, you still want your design to show, so make sure you press kind of hard. Make sure that crayon really shows up on there. And I'm going to color this right here. Oh, and I'm going to trace the sand I've got down here. And then I'm going to keep going. Color the stick for this one. I'm going to trace my line, trace that line for my sand, color in this nice wooden flagpole, taking my time, pressing kind of hard with the crayon, making sure it looks good, and I'm going to trace this Trace this carefully. Trace that line. Color in my next one. Taking my time so I can stay carefully inside the line. Pressing kind of hard with my crayon and tracing that line. And I'm tracing the outline of my palm tree too because that 
nice brown trunk we're going to have on there. So I'm going to trace all those lines for that brown trunk too. Nice and carefully. Tracing that brown trunk. You can go ahead and keep tracing your design. So you can trace things the color that they're going to be. So I can like trace my shovel. Maybe I want a red shovel. I can trace that. Trace the bucket. I'm going to trace my kite. And the waves you're going to trace with a blue. Okay? So go ahead and trace all of those things. Make sure you're pressing kind of hard. Tracing over those lines. Press them kind of hard. Taking your time, make sure you're going slow enough that you can follow the lines the way you want them. Take your time with it. Take your time and be careful. Following that line carefully along. I'm just going to go through and trace all the things in the color I want them. I'm going to trace this in black, I think. I think the string I'm going to make white. So I'm going to draw right over these in white. And even though it doesn't show up, when I go to paint, that white line will show up as long as I press hard enough with the crayon. It'll show up on there. And I think I'm going to make my kite purple for two of the triangles. And I think I'm going to make this string right here purple too. So I'm going to make that purple. And these little triangles, you can actually color those in because they're going to be awfully small to try to get filled in with watercolors. So you can actually color those triangles right in just like that. And I think I'm going to do purple and I'll do this yellow orange here for the other triangles. Trace right over those. I'm going to trace the hands. I don't really have a skin colored crayon. Maybe I'll trace them with a gray. Again, making sure you're pressing hard, getting all those details traced nicely. And the branches on your palm tree, you can actually go ahead and color those in with whatever color green you want. I'm going to color them in with this green. Take your time and color them neatly because it's going to be a little tricky. There's a lot of little parts to them. So take your time and color in each of those leaves. Take your time and color each of those leaves in. There we go. Color in each one. I'm going to color this leaf in too.
All right. Have all that stuff traced out on there. The last thing I need to do is color my sun. I'm going to color my sun in. Take my time, press kind of hard. Color that sun. Just like that. There we go. Got a beautiful drawing. I'm going to get some of these crayon pieces off. I've got little bits of crayon from when I was coloring. I'll wipe them off so they're not in the way when I'm painting later on. Alright. Nice work. Keep tracing. <laughs>